What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be showing you how to delete your cars and car packs out of OpenIV. Let's do it. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless the troops that fight for freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Alright guys, this was another request I got uh, from a sub of mine. Uh, this is uh, His name is Jay. Jay, I want to apologize. It's taken me so long to get this out because it's a very simple uh, procedure here. It's not very hard. Uh, but I have been asked to show everyone how to delete your cars out of your open IV. Now, for those of you that might think this is silly, you'd be surprised how many questions on a daily basis I get in my Discord or on my YouTube about, hey, how do I delete this folder? How do I delete that folder? Well, I'm fixing to show you how to delete your car folder. So open up your open IV, all right? It's going to bring you, well, of course, you know where it's going to take you to. I'm so used to bringing up the links. That's what I was thinking about. We were in a link. Uh, but guys, we are going to go to um, the car path. So if you have it saved right here, it would be under vehicles.rpf. So click that. It'll take you straight to the install path here, okay? Now, for those of you that do not have this saved yet, uh, if you're in your open IV, I'm going to tell you the pathway right here very slowly, okay? So get ready to click those buttons. I'm going to tell it to you. Here we go. It's going to be mods. You're going to click mods. Then update, time 64, DLC packs, then once you click that, scroll down and click patch day 20, click dlc.rpf, time 64, levels, GTA 5, and then click vehicles.rpf. That right there will bring you to this page. Now, if you have not saved this, I would highly recommend going to edit mode first. Make sure we're in edit mode, guys, to do this. Go to your favorites, click add to favorites, and it will say vehicles.rpf. That's going to save this particular pathway in this installation page right here, okay? Just click add right there, and then we'll add it, okay? And then you'll have this, and it, it keeps you from going through all this mods, update, time 64, etc., etc. You can just go here and click that, and bam, you're right here. You ain't got to go through all this stuff right here. So, Jay was wanting me to ask, I mean, Jay had asked me to do this tutorial on how to delete some car packs out of your open IV. Well, this is how it's done, guys. First of all, if you're going to delete any cars at all or car packs out of your open IV, your edit mode has to be on. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to turn mine off. You guys ain't got to do that. So just say, for instance, if I want to delete my FBI, I'm going to hold down my control key, control key highlight that, highlight the FBI, the FBI high.yft. You have two files up here, then scroll down. And the other two are right here. You're going to hold down control, click that, and click that. Now, just say if I wanted to, to, to delete this and edit mode is not on, I'm going to right-click. Now, see how it does not give me the option to do so? See that? It just gives me the options to extract, save content, export, copy names, etc. Okay? But if I turn on my edit mode just like that, okay, and then I highlight one of these and right-click, there is the delete option right there, guys. Now, I don't want to click delete because I don't want to delete in my vehicle, so... You guys pretty know, know what, pretty much know what to do from here. But just remember that all your car packs normally have anywhere from three to four files in it. So, like, my FBI file right here, it have one, two, um, whoops, my mistake, my mistake, my mistake. It have one, two, three, four files. Now, there's two ways you can delete these. You can do it by right-clicking on the file and hitting delete, or you can just hit delete on your keyboard and then click enter to confirm it. And it'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete these four files, or are you sure you want to delete these three files? You click enter, it wipes them out. That's how you successfully delete car packs from your OpenIV, guys. It's pretty much that simple, so there's not much to it. 
Jay, I do apologize again. It took me so long to get to this, man. I've had a bunch of other stuff going on. and uh, I do want to mention, guys, that there's a new RP server in play in um, the Criminal Justice Discord right now, okay? Uh, it's going to be up before too long. It's almost done. It's coming along nicely. Uh, we've, got a few, we've got a couple of uh, guys that are working on it, including myself. Um, so it's coming along real nicely. I do want to give a couple shout-outs tonight um, to the couple guys working on the RP server with me. Uh, one of them is the True Uprising. You guys know exactly who I'm talking about. He's in my Discord, and he has his own Discord and his own YouTube page as well. Guys, go check out his YouTube page and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, I will leave his YouTube page link in my description below so you guys can go show him some love, guys. The True Uprising is an amazing YouTuber. He's funny. He's awesome. He's a great guy all around. He's one of my very good friends and my fellow YouTubers. Guys, please go show him some love. Click that link down there and, and go to his page and just subscribe to him. Check out his stuff. He's got a lot of good videos, guys. Go show him some love. My other shout-out goes to my buddy, um, Logan. And he's the other guy working on the the project with us. Um, but he goes by Prodigy in my Discord. So, thank you, Logan, uh, or Prodigy, whatever you want to go by. And thank you, True Uprising, uh, for doing this server and, and being consistent. And, guys, y'all have been in on it for days and days and days. I mean, guys, we have been at it nonstop on this, especially them two. They've really been at it. So, just want to let you guys know there's an RP server in play right now. And that I will let you guys know as soon as it's done. And I will start sending we'll start sending out invites and I mean I'm sorry, not invites, but we will put out the word that the RP server is done and you guys can come in and fill out your application. I do want to note that you're gonna to have to be sixteen years of age or older to enter I mean to apply for the RP server at all. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna need dispatchers, we're gonna need firefighters, we're gonna need police officers, we're gonna need criminal citizens, um, we're gonna need a tow truck driver, we're gonna need EMTs. We're going to need all this stuff, guys. So if you are interested in this role play server, keep your ears open. Hit that notification bell on my page. And you'll be hearing from me about this RP server very, very soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Much love to you. Much respect. Thank you, Logan. Thank you, True, for doing the RP server. I really appreciate you guys and love y'all so much. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out.